Hello um, and welcome back to another episode of Chilling and Building with Spange and I'm still down here on Omicron with this Sky Whale of an SV that I've been working on and um, oh well I just haven't moved from the last episode basically <laughs> so what are we doing today uh, well let me just quickly remind you what we did last episode so um, yeah, we finished off the cockpit, didn't we? Done that, filled it up with LCD screens, which looked great. Added a bit of texture and colour to these sections in here. Made it look like a 60s smoking lounge, which is excellent. Um, added a bit of character, made some bunks that look roughly like beds. Some piping, which is glorious. And, of course, the dunny, which, yeah, well, did what I could to get that to look like a dunny I suppose ish kind of maybe I could do something more with these walls I don't know um, I'm gonna leave it for now because it doesn't really matter so today's episode what we're gonna do is this little section here and then if we've got time this corridor of doom here um, what in particular I want to do with this section here is add in some signal logic so that when we descend the ramp uh, these ramps open as well as those ones there and these lights here turn on um, so that they're not always just on constantly on to respond to my presence only so I'm gonna add a, a motion sensor somewhere around here um, I think I'm gonna do it on the inside here maybe can I place one there no I can't where can I place one I might have to bury it in the, uh, the hull. The great thing about these sensor blocks is um, they don't need to actually have line of sight on where you are. They can just be buried inside somewhere and they will still sense you. So I've been told anyway. I haven't actually done it myself so we're, we're about to find out. Let's put it inside a block like that one there dig through that and place a motion sensor okay i'll leave those blocks empty for now while i train it um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the outside first hit p and it should be the only motion sensor on there okay and what we got is a sort of red outline that you can just see out there basically mess around with these sliders until it has the positioning that I want it to. It's going off away from me and it's coming towards me so I think that's roughly where I want it. I might want it actually to come out a little bit further than that. Maybe it was that, that one? No, that's that way. That one, that way, that way we go. To go out a bit further, like maybe there. Also left and right a bit, I think. Get that way a bit, and let's go that way a bit. Okay, that looks good. I think that will do. Okay, so we're going to give this a signal logic name of uh, front door. Do, and what we're going to do is we're going to go through. And we're going to program each device by looking at it, hitting the P menu and doing front door follow. And so when I'm in, it's on, when I'm out, it's off. Good. Do the same with each of these. Now, this might... Might need to invert those because uh, I'm not sure whether it would out, up, in, down. Good, good, okay. And these ones front door follow, invert, front door follow, invert. Oh. Maybe I need that the other way around actually because I want them down when I'm out and up when I'm in. So, uh, out, the 
they stay down, yeah. In, they go up. Excellent. And then, when I leave the sensor field, it all shuts back up again. Come back in the sensor field, they all open again. Look at that. So, there we go. It's good, isn't it? Now, does it still work if I stick this block back and essentially remove its line of sight? Yes, it does. So they were telling the truth. You can hide your sensor blocks. So there we go. Exit in the ship. Out for a wander, and it locks itself back up again. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Quite happy with that. I'm back. Oh, thank you, ship. It's very kind of you. Can you just lock that up? Yeah, thank you very much. Very kind of you. You're out. Wonderful, wonderful. And that's not going to get annoying at all while <laughs> I do this next bit, which is. Uh, Texture this all. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is tech. The, is that inside the ship or outside? I'm going to go with its inside, but I'm going to do the ceiling only in the graying and leave the rest of it black because I do not want it to be. I don't want it to show up, basically, at all. There we go. Just remove that bit there. Remove that white as well. So, just that little bit there, it's annoying me. Okay, so I'm leaving the ship. Da, da, da. Marvelous. Oh, I did it. Wow. Mm. It's about right. <laughs> oh dear. Properly troll it. <laughs> quite happy with that. That's worked quite nicely. Marvelous. Okay. Just trying to think if there's any other texturing I want to do to that little bit there, but I don't think there is really. Maybe I could think about like some vent type textures, like a decontamination type thing, and I could do maybe these here. Imagine they're like a uh, laser sweep. Right? Oh god, that's a very rich red. So press the ships in, but still. Right, there we go. Come in, come through your laser beams. Um, I could add those force field blocks, maybe, but uh, well, let's see what they look like. I'm not sure I can get them to fit nicely. Uh, one by three. Uh, oh, what the hell? I've got it the wrong way up. Yeah, look. Kind of a gap, same as the shutter doors. They, they weren't flush either. I fit the one by four in there with that fit. There isn't a one by four. Great! <laughs> There's no one by four. Fine. I guess we won't have laser lasers today then. Alright, that's pretty cool. I'm quite happy with that. The lights only on when I'm in the motion sense field. The other lights stay on. Perfect. There we go. That's pretty much the extent of the signal logic that I can do. Anything more complicated than that, and <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's just turning some things on with a motion sensor. 
Uh, well, maybe you found that helpful. I don't know. Let me know. So this corridor. Standard floor texture. Um, oh yeah, we've got some pipes in here. This will be interesting. So, do you, remember, do you remember I was telling you the story of this ship a couple of episodes ago? Because basically the ship had been cobbled together. This is as a result of that cobbling. We've got conduits and power things that don't quite fit within the, uh, the conduits of the, the ship. So you'll have exposed fuel uh, fuel lines. somewhere that'll fill this room with blueness to give those pipes a kind of almost radioactive feel to them. Although it's slightly irritating that um, this is too wide, not three, so it can't be symmetrical with the old light. Paint not being symmetrical. Now it's the minimum set. I'll put another one right next to it because there's symmetry. running in the in the ceiling. Um, so should there be anything running in the walls or should that just be literally be wall? Maybe I could do a little bit of texture work here. Accentuate the fact that this is It's quite good. Corridor of Doom. <laughs> oh god, it's dark here. <laughs> Is that that's with my torch on? <laughs> oh dear. Alright. So, standard floor texture. That's interesting. Right, okay. So, in this corridor here, set up a motion sensor. Oh dear, that's not good, is it? Right, uh, let's find that motion sensor. Yes, so you can. Uh, 
Oh, well, I suppose it's as high as the sensor, isn't it? Oi. Was it a workbench type thing? Got um, bad texture for it. No works. Oh, it's a shame it's sort of bordered. So I highlight highlights that they're um, blocks, which is slightly irritating. But what can you do? Uh, cupboard, there you are. Okay, let's think about this for a bit. Just grab this a little bit here. That. So we've got this armor station here. Um, and the O2, of course. Uh, so, how do we bring bring this a bit more to life. I'm thinking this little shelf here needs to be uh, a bit more stand out. Um, I'm thinking like a scratch of metal. Kind of like, uh, kind of like that, but maybe this one here better. I don't know. Kind of like it to be smooth, really. Uh, maybe the uh, camera effect might have the right Maybe, you know. Yeah, that's pretty good. Kind of worn. Worn and heavily used. Or shell. Uh, putting your armor on. OK. 
color code the armor lockers. So one one's green, three, and one's red. Don't know. Don't know what the significance of that is. Just go with it. <laughs> uh, let's put some conduits down here. Lifelike. The same ones across there like that. There, yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Can't rotate that favourably. Um, but I can put some cabling down here. Looks conduity kind of thing. Oxygen needs to flow to this thing, so I need to make it like it's kind of connected to the system in some way. things like add in cupboards up the right way for an extra bit. You can also add in nice of these hatches here. Bulkhead. Give that a little bit extra feel. Like oops. in a, a vent. I haven't actually put any vents in. I did the same thing with the Naganata. I just completely forgot about oxygen vents. Um, let's put an O2 vent in. <laughs> oh dear. These doors don't have any force fields on them. Because they're glass. Uh, they're meant to do that. So yeah, that's fine. can have fun with these corner things because they do really look really good with that texture. You can make it bulk it out, give it some depth. So I've got a bit of bleed through from the red lights uh, on the front of the ship here, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I would have liked uh, for this to be a, not a red, but you know, I can live with it. It's cool. I'm just going to sporadically paint these boxes just to a bit of variety and life to it. Do the same thing with these that we did with the other ones as well. Going to add in a few sort of storagey textures and some bulkhead. Give that a little bit of depth and. Um, Set 
burada. These are vents, their original colour, because I want them to look a bit dirty. Lights in here. So I'm just going to go with standard white for these ones, I think. That'll do. This is already lit by that. So, this is interesting, right? Okay, so this little hatch here is actually how you would access the warp fuel. But I've done it in a stupid way because I wanted a little hatch, but I can only reclose that from the other side. There's Fallen down the smuggler as well. Um, once I've opened it from this side, it's open. I can't actually close it again. Just slightly irritating because I quite like the, um, the little hatch. So we don't have to go through the doors. And expose itself to all the radiation of the warp core. So, uh, I don't know what to do about that. I might just have to never use it. <laughs> right. So, uh, this is the safe side of these doors. So, what I'm going to do is I'll paint these doors an outrageous colour. They stand out. And then, I'm going to stick on the of shouty warning symbols around it. Something like that. And then on here, put even more shouty warning symbols. Shouty, shouty, uh, where's the radiation one? Shouty, shouty radiation. Color this. Like that. Whoa, danger. Yeah, so there's danger. I'm going to put that in big, bright red font size. And big, will you let it? Maybe even bigger. Let's go 20. Bigger. Let's make two. Whew, it's going some. 25. Yep. Six. Hell yeah, this is an absolute trooper. 28. That'll do. Size 28. Nice! Do you think I guess the message across? <laughs> I'm not sure it's uh, clear enough. Uh, I might put somebody on the door, uh, like AI crew to hand out Dis uh, disclaimers. Not disclaimers, like uh, forms. Say so you can't sue me if you get radiation poisoning and going into the walk <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway. Alright, so I might uh, add a bit more texture over here in the next episode. Um, and certainly, I think I want to do something with this little bit here. I don't know what to do with it, but I'll have a think. But uh, I think that's all for today. Um, do a bit more stuff to these walls and that ceiling next episode as well there's you know uh, but next episode we're going to do the walk on and if we've got time the smuggle as well but we'll concentrate on the walk core and get that done nicely nice but uh hey oh it's dark but anyway um that's all for today 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.